Hi everyone, this is Nancy. Although we primarily visit adults-only all-inclusive resorts, today we're going to be showing you the Iberostar Selection Paraiso Maya in the Riviera Maya area of Mexico. This resort offers a perfect blend of luxury, relaxation, and endless entertainment for the whole family. Join me as we explore the highlights and give you our thoughts about our visit to this resort. Ibero Star Maya is rated a 4.5 out of 5 on TripAdvisor and an 8.6 out of 10 on Expedia at the time of this video. It is the most upscale resort within the Ibero Star complex that caters to families. In my opinion, the biggest draw to booking here is the water park and the beach. It is about a 45 minute drive south of the Cancun airport, but first let's talk about the accommodations at Ibero Star selection Paraiso Maya. This resort offers spacious and beautifully designed rooms, providing a comfortable and inviting environment for its guests. They offer junior suites with different locations such as Tropical View, Poolside or Beachside that are all around 624 square feet. They also offer bigger two bedroom connecting suites that sleep larger families. There are room options to suit most size groups the rooms are very clean and equipped with modern amenities including flat screen TVs, mini bars, and private balconies or terraces, offering views of the surrounding tropical gardens, pools, or the beach. Now, let's move on to the dining options at the Maya. This resort boasts an impressive array of restaurants, each offering a unique dining experience. There is the Prime Rib El Rancho Steakhouse, La Geisha Japanese, Bistro L'Etoile, which is French, El Tapatio, which is Mexican buffet, La Marina Seafood, and the very cool Coco Snack Bar on the beach. The a la carte restaurants all require reservations, and I would suggest making these when you arrive to avoid being disappointed if you can't get in at the last minute. At the time of this video, the dress code is smart casual, meaning that all men are allowed to wear Bermuda shorts and sandals. Pants and collared shirts are not required here like they are at the Grand. We found the food very good. There were plenty of options to choose from, and we enjoyed the variety of different cuisines available. Like every resort, they're not all a home run, but they were good. If you've watched any of our videos before, you probably guess that the French restaurant L'Etoile was my personal favorite and it's a standout appetizer with the broccoli soup and you can't go wrong with the lobster thermidor. But I am a sucker for French food. They were all very tasty. The buffet was fairly standard. It was kept very clean and I particularly like the cooking stations where you can choose how you want your dish made. The made-to-order omelets really are hard to beat in the morning. There are eight bars at the Maya, but our hands-down favorite was the Kokulkin bar which is the lobby bar that is modeled after the famed Chichen Itza pyramid. We also made good use of the coffee shop in the lobby area every morning. If you're seeking some fun in the sun, the pools and water park area at the Maya are some of the best that we have seen. They have a great pool area for swimming and relaxing, but they also have a fantastic water park. This water park will keep both the kids and the adults channeling their inner child busy. There are water slides, splash zones, a wave pool, and a lazy river. And if your kids like to have lots to do, the pool area will keep them busy all day. I especially like the layout of the pool area. We've been to a few resorts on extended family vacations where the water slides are quite a ways away from the main pool areas. 
So the parents have to keep trucking across the resort. But we found that at the Maya, nothing was too far away from anything else, so it would not be too difficult to find your kids if they were off playing. The pool areas are meticulously maintained and provide a serene atmosphere for unwinding and soaking up the sun. It could get a little loud at times, but you can find a quiet area if that's what you're looking for. If you have little ones that still nap or need to go back and forth to the room, then the suites that look out onto this area would be a good location. We're going to give you a really good look at this pool area because I think this is why most people choose this resort. One of the unique aspects of the Iberostar selection Paraiso Maya is that it's part of a larger complex, the Iber Iberostar Playa Paraiso Resort. This means that guests at Paraiso Maya have access to an extensive range of facilities and amenities shared with the neighboring Iberostar resorts. You'll have access to additional pools, restaurants, bars, a spa, and various sports facilities. I highly suggest taking a morning wandering to the other resorts and checking them out. The flamingos at Del Mar and the coatis and peacocks at Iberostar Beach are really cool to see. Your family will love them. They have made the resort their home and sometimes you can even see a flamboyance of flamingos walking right through the hotel lobby to get to their ponds. Having the option of experience all of the other resorts with the exception of the Grand within the complex is a really nice benefit if you're staying for a week or more. It's like having a world of vacation options right at your fingertips. We found the grounds beautiful and well maintained. The staff was very friendly and attentive for the most part, and the resort was kept very clean and tidy, even though it's in the jungle. Although this resort is family friendly, it would also be a nice choice for adults. You're able to enjoy the family friendly atmosphere, but you can move yourself comfortably away from the noise of children if you choose. There's also a complimentary one hour access to the wet areas of the spa every day for adults. You must book this in advance to enjoy it, but it's a really nice treat. We enjoyed using it to relax before heading back to our room to get ready for dinner. The beach is one of the best features of this resort. It is a huge beach that all of the resorts share and there's plenty of seating and shade. There is a boardwalk that runs behind the seating area, so although the beach is large, it was not difficult to carry all the beach gear through the sand. There are beachside washroom facilities, a snack and beverage bar, there is a drink, there's drink service, and there are a ton of activities to do on the beach like volleyball, yoga, an outdoor gym, and various water sports. Kayaking, catamaran sailing, snorkeling, and windsurfing are included for the first hour, but note that it is not unlimited. If you're traveling with kids, then you should know about the Star Camp program for kids. The resort has a children's activity program called Star Camp. The program is divided into age groups 4 to 7, 8 to 12, and 13 to 17. Children under 3 years old must be accompanied by an adult. Kids here can learn to cook at the mini chef kitchen, put themselves to the test on the mini ad multi sorry adventure course, play video games, discover the importance of caring for the environment in the garden, bounce on the trampolines, and so much more. There is a ton going on to keep your kids busy if that's what you're looking for. Some people have found that this resort was difficult to navigate and this is normally me. But if you have a good look at the map, you can see that the Maya runs basically a line, kind of straight, sort of, 
From the lobby to the beach, and it's easy to get your bearings if you keep this in mind. Find the main walkway and you're good to get from the lobby to the beach without too much confusion. If I can do it, then I have to honestly say that most people can do it. The Ibero Star sells timeshares and they're aggressive in trying to get you to sit down and listen to their timeshare sales pitch over breakfast and we found this annoying. Just be firm about it and they will leave you alone unless the timeshare is something you're interested in but I can't speak to that. The service can be slow at busier times of day which is fairly normal for most resorts. We didn't find it a whole lot different than the other resorts we've been to. They also have a theater show that has an extra charge. We have not chosen to spend the money on it, so I can't tell you if it's worth it or not. We heard varying opinions from other guests, so do a little asking around to guests who've done it and see if it's something that suits you. The prices in the shared resort's shopping complex were really high, in my opinion, so we weren't interested in buying anything there. But we did appreciate that the tacos, the burgers, and the ice cream in the shopping area are part of your all-inclusive package, so there are no extra fees for that. I also appreciated that there's a medical center right on site if you should need one. A very impressive feature that a Barrow Star as a company is doing is their environmental responsibility initiatives. Many resorts say that they're responsible. But when you are at the Ibero Star, you see evidence of their environmental responsibility everywhere. There are no small toiletry bottles or water bottles in the room. Everything is large, glass, and refillable. There are no single-use plastics anymore. In 2020, they eliminated single-use plastics from all of their hotels. Now, they are working towards not generating any landfill-bound waste by 2025 and becoming entirely carbon neutral by 2030. 100% of their fish and seafood is responsibly sourced and there are programs throughout the resort that focus on improving the health of the ecosystems, specifically the mangroves in this area. It is the most aggressive environmental initiative that we have experienced at any of the resorts that we have ever been to, and it was impressive. Overall, the Ibero Star Maya is a very nice resort that offers a good blend of family-focused luxury, relaxation, and entertainment. With its beautiful rooms, diverse dining options, a water park, and the shared Ibero Star complex, it's a good destination choice for families, couples, and even solo travelers. We have an extended family with 10 kids under 18, and I have put this resort on the short list for a large family holiday. Thanks for watching our videos. We give you unbiased reviews, we pay for all of our own trips, and the resorts that we visit never know that we make videos about our experiences staying there. We hope that you find our videos helpful and informative and we will be back with more videos about all of the resorts that we visit and we hope we can give you the information you need to plan your perfect vacation. Bye for now and we'll be back next week with more new travel escapes.